Good evening. It's, uh, it's my privilege to be here this evening. Um, as was announced, uh, my name is Paul Sweat. I'm the superintendent here in the Wasatch County School District. Um, <clears throat> before I was the superintendent, um, some years ago, uh, I, I was the high school principal. And if, for those of you that don't know, um, the principal that followed me here at Wasatch High was Mr. Sean Kelly, um, who has already presented. And the principal that followed him was Mr. Todd Johnson. So we've had three former principals um, up to the mic tonight. And let me tell you, one thing that happens when old principals get together is they brag about the great hires they made over the years. That's always a topic of conversation. Um, and I get bragging rights um, to say that I hired both of these wonderful ladies to work at Wasatch High School. And I'm going to have to make a confession. Um, I, had, I had some help. We were in the old high school on 6th South, so this has been We've been here, I think, 11, 12 years now, so it was two or three years before that um, when um, Mrs. Claire Merritt, who's here in the audience today, came to my office and she said, Paul, we, uh, we have had this amazing lady move into our community. And she lived in Claire's neighborhood and she started telling me about Chriselle and how she was a Spanish teacher and she taught um, in Park City. And we made, we made some plans that day, Claire, didn't we, to uh, do whatever it took to get this wonderful lady that lived here in our community to come work at Wasatch High School. And at the time, uh, our programs um, for our Latino students were, were either non-existent or just barely beginning. And we were trying to get some things off the ground. And I can tell you that uh, um, as we were successful in hiring Giselle, and then of course when we found out um, her sister Brenda um, was coming to town and was possibly available, we did everything to make that happen. Um, and as we hired these two wonderful ladies, uh, so many amazing things happened, not just for our Latino community, but for Wasatch High in general. And I want to uh, I want to show you some evidence of, of one such thing. So I brought this picture, and I want to tell you that uh, the state, the Utah State Office of Education, um, created a new distinction to be given to students during a graduation ceremony, and it is called the seal of bioliteracy. So this is uh, an example of one of those medals. This is a seal of bioliteracy. And many of you probably know that we have a very robust English as <clears throat> we have a very, a very robust um, program for our Latino students and our non-Latino students to come together it's our dual language immersion program that starts in elementary school. And a lot of districts um, didn't really pay too much attention to that program once students left elementary school. Um, because of, of leadership here in our district, um, Mr. Eric Campbell, who gave the prayer, um, Griselle and Brenda themselves and others, um, that program was continued through our secondary schools and on through high school. So what I have here is a, is a photograph. Now this was a great moment in time at Wasatch County High School. It happened right out here on the front porch, and this was a few days before graduation last spring. And what this is, you can see the dozens of students that are lined up, each one of them wearing the seal of biliteracy around their neck. These represent the first, first graders that enrolled in our program and then those that were added as the, years, as the years went by. And last year at graduation, we had this very large number of students that had been, 
have been designated um, students of bilateral students and honored in that way here at Wasatch High School. I, I share that with you because I think it's a great example of the legacy that is, is left behind here at Wasatch High by these two great educators. And that's been spoken about tonight. This is one program. There are many, many other programs. The Latino community is interwoven throughout our school and our school district. And the fact that we're now going to place these plaques or these pictures in front of us on the wall and make them part of our Hall of Fame, I hope um, gives further remembrance to these two great educators as young people come into our school. At Wasatch High, we, we made it very clear, I hope, on this night that the Latino community owns part of Wasatch High School, that they have a place here. And that's taken some time. This is very different than, than when these ladies first came. And, you know, I love to see sometimes in the yearbook or even on announcements, students um, making the exclamation that they want to accomplish great things. They'll hold up, they'll hold up a, a frame, a picture frame with nothing in it. And they will go down in front of the Hall of Fame and they'll hold up the picture frame and they'll get a photograph of themselves. And it'll go on social media, it will go on announcements. And, uh, and, and it's basically them saying, hey, I'm gonna be a Hall of Famer one day. Somewhere, somehow, I'm gonna be a Hall of Famer too. And the fact that we now have two of our Latino educators that have meant so much and made so much difference to this point on the wall, I hope means so much um, to our Latino community and our community at large. That uh, there are some great things going on at this school and, and we owe a huge debt of gratitude to Frizzell and Zelaya um, for, for those legacies being started and they will continue to flourish, I'm, I'm sure, um, well into the future. I appreciate you spending some time with you this evening to, to honor these great ladies. Um, I too um, have great friendship and great love with each one of them. Um, and <clears throat> I, I appreciate uh, spending a few minutes with you this night. Um, with that, I would like to turn the time over back to our Hall of Fame coordinator, Mr. Ron Carlin. Thank you, Paul, and thanks to all those who presented and spoke, and spoke to us this evening. This has been a wonderful evening, tribute to these two wonderful educators that we can claim uh, as being part of us here at Wasatch High School. Uh, I have learned so much tonight myself, and I'm grateful for all the things that have been said uh, in their behalf. And, and then beyond that with the direction um, that we're, we're going, that has been established by these two educators as we move forward in our efforts here. So with that, we'd like to, I'd like to involve, uh, invite Paul and uh, Brian Lee to come up. And if I could have uh, both Brenda's and Brazil's families to come forward right now. Brazil right here. Brenda over here. So, 
on behalf of the Wasatch High School Alumni Association and the Wasatch County School District, we would like to present to the families of uh, Brenda and Brazel these plaques for their induction into the Wasatch High School Hall of Fame. Thank you.